Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video explaining the issue behind lock rock and lock over travel on the Spyderco Spidey Chef knife. I believe there are two reasons for this issue. First of all, the geometry of the lock here, this angle between the lock and the lock face is not quite 90 degrees, right? It's a bit of an obtuse angle right here. That allows for this lock to flex in that direction. So I made a silly cardboard model here out of beer boxes just to show you what I mean. Pretend this is a lock bar and that is the tang of a blade. If those are squared off at 90 degrees. This is going to have a difficult time moving in either direction, right? Now, if I take one that's got an angle to it, this will just freely rotate upwards. So I believe that's part of the issue with the Spidey Chef. The other issue I find is the narrow section of lock bar here, right? I believe that contributes to flex. So if I take my Techno and show you, look at that. Techno has a big fat joint right there. There's not a lot of flex happening there. Spidey Chef, it's super thin, right? So the combination of that angle and that thin spot, that lock is going to flex upward. Now, I'm just going to show you a little example of this, all right? With this blade closed, no pressure on the lock, this copper washer does not fit in between the lock and the frame. All right, see that? Now, if I snap this open, this copper washer now fits in there because that lock is flexed outward away from the frame. I'll show you something else here. See, with the knife snapped open, you can see that lock travel. It's about two thirds of the way. All right. I can push that over, which flexes the lock further away from the frame. Now, if I open it gently and just ease that lock over with my thumb, It's only about 50% lockup. So there it is. Regardless of those issues, I'm very happy with this knife. And it's uh, one of my favorite Spyderco's. Take care.